everyone. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Michelle Kirstein and today we're gonna get a little dirty. Dirty boar that is. All right, here's everything we need. A prepped cup, paint. These are all from folk art. I got them all at Walmart. I think they were a dollar to a dollar fifty each. Um, I have metallics and color shift. I have a cup for each color. Something to stir it with. I just broke three popsicle sticks in half. And then a larger cup that you're going to pour all your paint in. Then additionally, you're going to need something to put your cup on as you're pouring. So what I do is I got this grate from the dollar store as well as this pan. So I just put the grate over the pan, the cup goes on the grate, and then we can pour. So before we get started, there's a couple of things that I forgot to tell you we needed. The first one being Petey, my cat. Clearly he wanted to join us. Second one being something to put your tumbler on because we don't want it really to sit directly on the grate. I mean, you could, but you're gonna get some um, marks around the rim. So I just put it on one of these little dollar store racks, put a pool noodle or something on it to keep it steady. Oops, excuse me. And then that will go right on the rack. Additionally, we'll need some water. We need to loosen up the paint a little bit by just putting a couple of drops into the paint and mixing it up really good. Um, we also have a measuring spoon because I have a tendency to be a little bit heavy handed with the water. And what will happen is if you put too much water into the paint, it gets very runny. Um, and not only does it just kind of run right off the cup, but the colors also blend together. And that's definitely not something you want. You want the, those colors separate and individual so you can see every one of them. Okay, with that, let's get started. First, let me tell you what we're going for. This is a dirty pour that I did with these same, similar colors paint, uh, colors of paint. Um, it's just gorgeous, and when you get it into the bright light, the bright sunlight, it turns kind of like a light sky blue with all the color, color showing. It's really gorgeous, and this is what we're gonna try and achieve. But I will tell you, everyone comes out differently. So there, if, you, if you're trying to match something exactly, likelihood is, is you won't be able to do it. So let me go ahead and get started and we'll start to mix. All right, I've got all the paints here and um, I've got about maybe, you know, a little over a teaspoon or so of each color paint. We're gonna put a little bit of water in it, like I said, and loosen it up. I'm gonna start with an eighth of a teaspoon but I think I'm gonna go for just a smidge more. You see, I can be heavy handed. I hope I don't mess this up. Okay, I think this is better. I think this is more the consistency we're going for. Kind of pour and drizzle. You want it to hold its shape, but be able to drizzle down the side of the cup. All right, so as I stir, so I am on day four of the um, quarantine. This coronavirus has got everybody running crazy. I actually work from home, so the staying home is just kind of a normal thing for me. Plus, we live kind of out in the uh, boonies, and so all of our friends, most of our friends, are uh, don't live around us, so it's not like I've got a lot of visitors. You know, usually the, the person that comes around the most is the UPS guy. Um, so I'll still see him. All right, that actually is a good amount. So just a little under a half a teaspoon is where, what we're going for. 
and I've got a, a stick for each color because I don't want to mix the colors. All right, let's see how that works. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and, and start pouring in the um, cup without actually mixing. I mean, they're going to mix a little bit, obviously. We're pouring them in the same cup, but we don't want them to mix very much. So, And we want to pay attention to the colors that we put next to each other. So if they do mix a little bit, they'll be complimentary. All right. There goes sapphire blue. And then I think I want to put in this teal. I think we'll go with the pink. Oh, PD. This is what I deal with. Come on, go, PD, go. Sorry. Go, keep going. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do the pink. Then I'm going to do this beautiful purple color shift. Now I'm not getting all of the paint out of the cup because then in the end you'll see, you know, sometimes when you're doing a pour, it's not going to hit all parts of the cup. So you have to do a little improvising and add a little paint here and there. Oops. Paper towels are a commodity these days. Like I said, we're in uh, day four of quarantine and luckily we stocked up on all those paper products before everybody started going crazy over the toilet paper. <laughs> all right, now the um, color shifting blue flash. And lastly, this beautiful emerald green. Okay. Here we go. So here's what it looks like. You can see that the colors are in there, um, but they're still fairly separate. And now what we're going to do is pour this onto the cup. And let's cross our fingers. Pretty. Now, one thing you can do, so I'm missing a lot. I have a lot of space over here that's not covered, so you can actually scrape some off of the sides, or excuse me, off of the bottom, sorry, and let it flow down. And this is what it's looking like. So it's getting there. So now what I'm going to do 
is I am going to take these paints and see if I can't fill in some of those areas. Hmm, that looks pretty. Popsicle stick all the way over here. Oh, that green is so nice. You just kind of help move it along. So as you can see, we do have some areas there that need a little help. So what I want to do is just grab a little paintbrush try and do this with and just kind of help it along. Try real hard not to mix them. You can also go directly back to the paint cup because we still have multiple colors in there. So tell me how you guys are uh, dealing with the quarantine. How is it impacting your family? Seems to be all anybody can talk about. So it's such a uh, huge issue. We're gonna be reading about this in the history books for many, many years to come. I hope everyone's doing well and uh, dealing with it okay. Oops, I can't see from over there, but there we go. All right, now, and the more this runs, it'll start to cover more and more of the cup. What you don't want it is it to get too thin so you don't have so the cup shows through. Hold on, I gotta do something with this top there. Okay. So it is I think pretty much all covered now. 
there you have it. Let me take this up there one more time. It's still dripping. Here is the Dirty Pour with metallics and color shifting paint. This is going to look really, really gorgeous under epoxy um, and with a nice decal. Um, so I hope you've learned something and that you give that a try. Oop, got paint all over me. Um, and give that a try. If this is something that you like to see um, and you'd like to get more um, tips like this, please go and join our Facebook group called Tumblr's Tips and Tricks. Um, and if you like this video, do the whole thumbs up thing. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe, I would be very, very grateful. Um, once again, my name is Michelle Kirstein, and today we got a little dirty, and I really thank you for joining me. Take care.